Hello everybody, we're going to have a quick tutorial on creating multiple windows for Apple Vision Pro. Here we create a list of buttons and each button will allow us to create a window for this particular app, giving us multiple windows. And this is our app and I think let's uh, get to it. Okay, so here's the completed app uh, from once before. Let's create a brand new app similar to this. Let's uh, create a project. We're going to select Vision OS app, click next. We're going to create this project called Multiple Windows. And you're going to select your team, your organizational identity uh, identifier. This will be your bundle identifier. Uh, initial scene will be a window, and you will take no immersive space rendering. Now, with that, uh, we can click next, and let's put it into our folder. All right, so we come to our first screen here with our default view. Here we have a very simple hello world and a uh, model 3D, which is going to pull from our scene and from, from our reality kit content. We don't need this, so we will be deleting this very shortly. And what we do need is a window with several buttons. Um, let's make those first and let's get this screen on the way. Um, to get those buttons we will need a model and a view model to populate the data properly uh, because with new windows we need an ID to identify the window that we want to open from our list. And so we will need to provide this information um, consistently throughout our entire app, which will require us to have a view model. All right, so we're gonna create a new file now and we're gonna create it under model. So let's create a new group called model. And in that group, we're gonna create a new file called, let's say, color string. So let's create that. Let's go into the model. Let's import Swift UI because we will need a color. Let's create a struct because we're creating a color string and we don't need to be a reference type. Of course, uh, we need an identifiable because we want to be able to see this uh, as a, you know, to be send this over to our window. So a var is going to be id and uuid. We'll take another var, we're going to do a string. And lastly, we're going to do a color. With that, I think we have all the information we need to create our view. Let's uh, Next, we're going to create an init function to initiate that. And we are done with the model. Okay, next, uh, we are going to create a view model, a collection of these uh, color strings so that we can create uh, buttons out of them. All right, so first, we're going to create a group again. We're going to call this group a uh, view model. Then we're going to create a file, another Swift file, and we're going to call it color strings view model. All right, so this is going to be a class because it's going to be a reference type we're going to be passing around. We don't want this view model to change anywhere along the way. So color string view model. All right, with that, um, we can create the class. So what we want here is that we want a color strings to be our array of color strings. So to do that, we're going to create a stub for um, this particular class because we're, we're just, we just need three pieces of data. We're not collecting data from anywhere else. So that's why we have it here. So we're going to do color string 
and UUID. We're going to do a string called black, not black, color string. Do another one, UUID, dot blue. And lastly, color string, ID, UUID, red. All right, that's our stub. We're going to set our color string to stub. Let's see, there seems to be an issue here. Don't know exactly why that is. Ah, this is supposed to be static. Okay. So with that, we are ready to initiate our class. Um, well, actually, we don't need to do anything. I think that's all we need, actually. All right, with that, we're done with our view model. All right, our view model is now complete. We're ready to display the data from our view model. So the first piece of data that I want to display is the list of colors, basically a list of buttons. The list of buttons um, will present the windows. So let's create the views. And new file. We're going to create a Swift UI view now. And this is going to be a color list view. OK, with that, we do need several things. We need our view model. So let's get var view model. And let's do that a color string type. We're going to pull this in from our app. So color string view model. So with our color string view model, we should be able to create a for each loop. And let's just fill this in. View model, color string view model. Right. So we're going to create a for each loop for each item in the view model dot color strings and we're going to do a color string in and for each what we're going to do is that we're going to create a button for each like we said earlier that's all right great now we have an action that action is to open the window window so we do need an environmental object so at environment uh, var I think it's a uh, slash window open window var uh, private var usually and open window okay with that we can open our window from a particular ID uh, particular value and we're going to do color string ID. Now the label is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to do a text and we're going to do a color string dot string. So that should give us our button. Now, okay, so currently we have uh, several buttons here that are yet to be colored. So we should just do a background and that should do it for us, right? We should just type in color string and dot color and we should get the proper color that we wanted okay the preview suggests otherwise as you can see we have square boxes what to do here is that you just do a glass background effect and it cleans it right up completely all right with that uh, we are done with our list view let's move on and create that uh, view from our app to show our color list view. Okay, let's move to our multi window app. We're going to set this to color list view. With that, this means we need to declare our object, our view model. And so, view model, and that's going to be equal to color string view model. And we need to pass this in into our view model. Yes. And with that, we should be able to run uh, this particular program at this point. 
However, we are unable to use any of these buttons. Now, let's uh, run this and uh, I'll show you. So as you can see here in the simulator, we have our buttons, but these buttons don't present any windows yet. The error is that there is no scene available for this UUID. And to, do, to, to create a, a scene with that UUID, we can create a window group with an ID of our color string dot ID dot self. And with that, we can create a binding of color string ID. And we can use this color string ID to generate our view. To generate our view, um, we can do a color view. But with simply a color string ID, we cannot, um, you know, like uh, get our view Im immediately. And so we we need our data model as well. So so we need a view model, and we need our uh, color string ID. So with those two things, we can present a color view, but we do not have a color view available yet. So let's create it. Okay, so into our color view, let's create a new file, new Swift file, color view. Okay, so we need a var, uh, a view model of type uh, color string, view model. And we also need a add binding var color string ID of type UUID. Okay, with those two things, we can now get our color view. Um, in terms of this particular point, let's skip the preview for now to concentrate what we need to concentrate on, which is our body. So to we first we need to do uh, is to verify uh, that this color string ID does exist. So if let color string ID equals um, color string ID, and we uh, And then we also want to do a let, um, you know, a color string equals a view model dot uh, color strings dot first, where um, dollar zero dot ID is equal equal to our color string ID. If those two things are true, that means we can present our view. And so we would say, um, like, uh, well, um, we do a, let's say, a V stack. And let's say we do a color string, a text maybe, with color string dot color, that string. And let's color this text and give it a frame of like 300 with three hundred height three hundred let's give it a color background color color string thoughts color. And I think that that does it for our um, stack. What's going on here? Oh, this is a closure, right? All right, so let's take a look at how this goes. Okay, looks like there's an error here. Um, we use the wrong parameter. It's actually a four, and let's create it again. So with this creation uh, build, 
we have our app and our buttons. And these buttons now open up to our particular Okay, window. so at this point, you may have had an error uh, as to un being unable to show multiple windows. So what you have to do is uh, go to your project um, here, multiple windows, go to info, and make sure you add application manifests. So this is application scene manifest, and this is a dictionary. And what you want to do is enable multiple windows. If you do not enable this option, you will uh, have an error where you will be unable to display multiple windows. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here's our uh, app. And let's click these items. As you can see here, cannot open window when app does not support multiple scenes. So make sure this is enabled. As you can see, these windows are humongous. So we want to reduce the size of these uh, windows. We would also like to give it a glass effect. So let's go do that. So first of all, let's go to give it a default size. And we're going to give it a CG size of width of 300 and height of 300. Also, we need to go back to our color view and give it a glass background effect. And I think that should do it. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, let's click red. Perfect. We have our little red. I click our blue, we have our little blue, and we click our black, We have, and that's the black item here. Something that we want uh, to do here is that you can see this is not very clean. Um, this can be cleaned up uh, by creating a subscript in our view model. Let's go do that right now. Okay, so let's create that subscript now in our view model. So, subscript. We're going to call this a um, color stream ID, and it's going to take an ID object, color string dot ID. With this object, what we want to return is a color string. Okay, so this is going to be pretty simple. We we'll go to our color strings array and get the first item where uh, our ID equals the, well, the color string ID. And with that, we return our item and we're good to go. So we do need a question mark here. And perfect, that's it. And so now we go back to our color view. Now we can replace this line of code here with our subscript. And we just need our color string ID and type in color string ID here. And we found our color string. And now, uh, to let's check that works. Okay, so everything looks to be working completely fine. We have all our colors, we have all our windows. This is going very well. Okay, um, that's all for this uh, tutorial. And so I hope this video helps resolve your problems in creating multiple windows for Apple Vision Pro. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe uh, if you want more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!